Hey, hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 Review, and this is question 8H. Find the value of k in order for this expression right here, k co squared of pi over 8 minus k sine squared of pi over 8 to equal 6 root 2. Okay, well i got to kind of tear this thing apart here. And I, I do uh, see the structure of a, of a double angle identity here. Now, there's a k, k common to both of those terms, so I'm going to factor that k out. That'll leave me with the cosine squared of pi over 8 minus the sine squared of pi over 8. We'll say that that's equal to root 2. Oops, sorry, I gotta, I gotta close those brackets there. Is equal to 6 root 2. Now, I'd be very tempted to say that this is just equal to 1 and solve for k, but that's not true because of the subtraction. As a result, that, that isn't equal to 1. That's not a Pythagorean identity. This is a the one of those cos identities, the cos double angle identities. So this reduces down to the cosine of 2 times pi over 8, which we know will be equal to 6 root 2. Okay. Now 2 times pi over 8 is just going to be the cosine of pi over 4, okay, equal to 6 root 2. Now I just have to evaluate this, the cosine of pi over 4, and whether you're going to use uh, the special triangles or the unit circle, you should be able to tell pretty quickly here that, uh, sorry, that the uh, cosine of pi over 4 will simply be 1 over root 2 will equal 6 root 2. Now, you could write that as root 2 over 2 if you wanted. That's just going to add a little bit to your your uh, work here. It doesn't matter. It's, it's an equivalent uh, form here. But in this case, if I just leave it as 1 over root 2, if I just multiply both sides by root 2, I will get that k is equal to, well, let's just think, think of this, 6 times root 2 times root 2. Well, root 2 squared is just 2, so 6 times 2, 12. And that's the value of k that we're looking for.